Hi, my name is Dr. James Beck. I'm the Vice President of Scientific Affairs at the Parkinson's Disease Foundation. And I want to tell you about a new drug that's been recently approved by the FDA for Parkinson's disease. The drug's name is Duplazid, and it's made by Acadia Pharmaceuticals. Why is this drug so important? This drug is really interesting because it is the first drug that has been approved to treat Parkinson's disease-related hallucinations and delusions. Hallucinations are when people see, feel, or even hear things that are not really there. Delusions, on the other hand, are when people have a very firm belief that something is true even when it's not, or evidence to the contrary is, is very clear. For instance, someone may hallucinate that they see insects and then have delusions that these insects are now infesting their house, even though there are no insects around their house. As scary as these symptoms sound, sometimes they can be mild. For instance, a person who hallucinates um, can hallucinate that there are children present in their house, even though they are aware that there are no children around. People who experience these symptoms are often reluctant to talk about them for fear how they may be perceived. However, psychosis and Parkinson's disease is not that uncommon. About 40% of people with Parkinson's disease will experience these symptoms. Often adjustments in one's PD medications eliminate the psychosis symptoms, like hallucinations. This is why it is so important that you talk to your physician if you're experiencing any of these symptoms. Previously, if medication adjustments didn't work, there were really only limited ways uh, a physician could help treat PD psychosis. Most antipsychotics available could not even be used because they blocked the action of dopamine, the brain chemical missing in Parkinson's disease, and made Parkinson's disease symptoms that much worse. The others were either ne never proven to be effective or required relatively burdensome blood monitoring in order to use them on a regular basis. Duplazid, however, works by an entirely different mechanism. As a result, in clinical trials, it has been shown not to worsen Parkinson's disease symptoms. There are some cautions about Duplazid, however. First, like all antipsychotics that have been approved by the FDA, it carries a mandatory boxed warning about the increased risk of death for older people who have dementia-related psychosis. Another warning is that it may interfere with medications which affect how the heart beats. Our last concern is that while this drug has worked in clinical trials, it remains untested, unproven in the community as a whole. So our hope is this drug becomes more broadly prescribed, that we'll see the same success in clinical trials that we do in the community, really fulfilling a need that is there for people with Parkinson's disease. If you'd like to learn more about hallucinations, I encourage you to go to our YouTube channel. Um, in this, on the channel, you'll find a video that we made with Dr. Joseph Friedman, who's Chief of Movement Disorders at Butler Hospital in Rhode Island. And in this video, you can see real people with Parkinson's disease describe the hallucinations in their own words. It's an excellent video. I encourage you to watch it. If you have other, any other questions, I encourage you to call our helpline. The number is 1-800-457-6676. For the Parkinson's Disease Foundation, I'm Jim Beck. Thank you very much for your time.